At this point, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to hear a welcome remarks from one of our distinguished leaders in the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and also in the Bangsa Moro Autonomous Region, Muslim Mindanao. He is the Vice President for Central Mindanao of the United Bangsa Moro Justice Party. He is also the Minister of Basic Higher Technical Education and at the same time the Chairman of the MILF Peace Implementing Panel. Mga kababayan, mga kapapabang sa Moro, help me in welcoming Honorable Mohager Iqbal. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficial. Let me begin by extending my warmest greetings of peace to the Lady of the Hour, Vice President Lady Robredo. whose natal day also happens to be today. My highest respect also to Mom Lady's party, including Davodil's the Norte Congress and Pantalian Alvarez, Governor Edwin Kibahi, and I also understand that Governor Ben Ibarone is also coming. Senator Bam Aquino, I'm calling him Senator Bam Aquino because to me he's still a senator. As well as to my colleagues in the United Bangsamoro Justice Party, headed by UBJP President Al Hazmurad Ibrahim. The incumbent local chief executives, UBJP local candidates, and everyone who took the time to join us today in the midst of fasting in the holy month of Ramadan. Magandang umanga po sa atin lahat. For those of you who know me, you may be well aware that I am careful with my life choices. And I always choose my words carefully. Perhaps it is something harnessed through time as a negotiator. Similarly, the United Bagsamoro Justice Party as a genuinely physical political party also took its time in studying the personalities, plans, and platforms of actions of the different presidential hopefuls in the upcoming 2022 national elections. We took particular interest in the style and temperament of the candidates on Bangsamoro issues and concerns. This is important because the historical injustices in the Bangsamoro context would easily be overlooked in the Philippine narrative. And truly, not every Filipino understands the root causes of conflict in our region. We are fortunate to have had presidents who are and were friendly to the Bangsamoro 
during their terms of office. Without their strong political will and follow through to their campaign commitments, it is hard to imagine where the Bagsamoro peace process would be at today. Words and promises indeed are a politician's powerful weapon. In the case of the 10 presidential candidates for 2022, we appreciate hearing the words and promises from two candidates about their hopes and dreams for the Bagsamoro. To this day, the Bagsamoro struggle continues as we partake in the political exercise of elections, governance, and institution building. Still, we do not lose sight of the end goal, which is to achieve genuine and lasting peace and development in the region and in the Philippines as a whole. Be it recalled that on March 17, 2022, I claimed some time on the floor as member of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority Parliament to deliver a privileged speech. There, I explained how important the next administration is going to be for the Bangsamoro people. It, I, I emphasize that collectively, the Bangsamoro people should recognize the value of choosing a worthy candidate for the position of President of the Republic of the Philippines, a candidate who will preserve and defend the Bangsamoro cause. This brings back to memories when I was at the peak of the revolutionary struggle. I found myself dealing with three kinds of people. First, those who are sincerely with you. Second, those who are against you. And third, those who are in between the two. Of course, the most difficult personality is to deal with is the third one. But in a presidential election, that only gives the voters 86 days within which to arrive at an informed decision as to who to vote on May 9, 2022. The safest bet would be to go for the first kind of people, those who are sincere with you. And I, I'm so sure Madam Lady Robredo is the one that I'm saying. As I have said before, we are looking for a candidate that is a friend of the Bangsamor. Such friendship and sincerity is sealed by over acts since then and up to now. As a person, she never let us down. Not once she made us feel that we are less a person as a Bangsam. As a group, we will treasure what you have shown to us because those who stick by our side during our hard times deserves to be with us during our best times. Indeed, according to Ali Ibn Abi Talib, the fourth caliph in Islam, a friend cannot be considered a friend until he is tested. In three occasions, in times of need, behind your back, and after your death. Without meaning to stick the thunder of this event, I am happy to note that Vice President Lenny Robredo belongs to the first kind of people. She truly and sincerely is not only a friend, but also one with the Bangsamoro people. It is for this purpose that we gather here today for the declaration of support of the United Bangsamoro Justice Party for the candidacy of Lenny Robredo for President. These are exciting times, and I am proud to belong to the UBGP as it cements its support to Lady Robredo, the one and only presidential candidate whose values, principles, and characters align with those we uphold as a regional political party. Finally, I express my thanks and gratitude to everyone, 
especially Madam Lady Robredo and party. And I welcome you, everyone and everybody in this occasion. Marami salamat po. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa Maraming maraming salamat po, Minister Iqbal, o sa, o, also properly known as uh, Sir IQ sa Karamidan, for the very warm welcome and also for emphasizing further the importance of this event and the importance of the choice that we are going to make come election time. And our program, uh, mga kababayan, uh, sunod po ay yung declaration of support ng UBJP uh, to be given by the Chief Minister. But bago po natin uh, marinig, yung pong uh, declaration, official declaration of support. Meron pong declaration of support no? mula po sa ating pong governor ng Basilan. No? Unfortunately, hindi po siya nakadalo o nakaabot sa araw to ito. Ngayon pa man, siya po ay nagpadala ng mensahe. At ang uh, pinagbilinan po sa atin ay basahin po sa harap po ninyo at sa lahat po ng ating uh, Vice President and incoming President, uh, President Lenny Robredo. And I'd like to take this opportunity to lead the declaration of support for the presidential candidacy of Lenny Robredo. Again, this is from Governor Jim Hataman Saliman, the Governor of Province of Basilan. The declaration states, I believe in Vice President Lenny Robredo's vision, track record, and platform of governance. Her values align with mine, along with the rest of the United Bangsamoro Justice Party and the BARMM. Congressman Mujib Hataman and every Moro that believes in dignity, justice, and regional recovery and progress. I, Jim S. Hataman Saliman, Governor of the Province of Basilan, a Moro and a Filipino, declare my full support for the presidential candidacy of Vice President Lenny Robredo from today on to the national and local elections of May 9, 2022, and beyond. As she knows, or as she works, to be a fairer, more compassionate, and more united Philippines. Signed, Jim S. Hataman Saliman, Governor of the Province of Basilan, April 22, 2022. Meron din po tayong declaration of support no? mula naman po sa ating po mga kababayan, kapatid ng mga indigenous peoples mula po dito sa Pangsamorato na Mustijon and the nearby municipalities. Nandito po sila, uh, VP Lenny, sa inyong pong harapan. We'd like to request po yung ating po mga kababayan, ating po mga uh, brothers and sisters sa ITs. No? Yung pong uh, mensahe, yung pong uh, dokumento ay ating pong ipapaabot. No? Ibibigay po natin kay Vice President Lenny Robredo. Mga kapwa ko bang sa moro aking po mga kababayan, at this point we are going to hear the official declaration of support of the United Bangsamoro Justice Party to the candidacy of Lenny Robredo for President. And help me welcome our leader in the Bangsamoro struggle and now our leader in the Bangsamoro government, no other than Honorable Ahud Alhaj Murad Ibrahim.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وبه نستعين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Assalamualaikum Welcome to everyone My courtesy to our incoming President of the Republic of the Philippines No other than Lenny Robredo is for the city of the rest of the Inca. So, this year's election is historic. First for the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, MILF, as a transition from an armed struggle into a democratic and peaceful advocacy. The political participation of the MI life in the 2022 local elections in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao through the United Bangsamoro Justice Party or UPGP asserts a new brand of principled politics in the region and gives the electorate an option in choosing their local leaders. The United Pangsamoro Justice Party or UBGP in short earlier pronounced its commitment to support President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's candidate for the next president of the Philippines. With the passing of time, President Duterte has made it clear that he has no intention of endorsing his successor among all the presidencials for 2022 except that he openly supports the candidacy of his daughter, Mayor Sara Z. Duterte, as Vice President. As a principal political party, the UBGP opened its doors to all presidential candidates who were willing to present their plans and platform of action for the Bangsamoro. Within the past two months of the campaign period, only two presidentials courageously approached the UBGP in to, to introduce themselves and their slate and to offer their commitment to continue the gains of the Bangsamoro peace process, and one of which is our very own Vice President and incoming President, uh, Vice President Lenny Robledo. Based on this presentation, the UBGP, UBGP found that one stands out to be overwhelmingly compatible with the values, principles, and goals of the party as enunciated by the Vice President. This presidential candidate sees eye to eye with the UBGP and is considerably familiar with the history, context, struggle, and issues of the Bangsa War. This presidential candidate is a brave, strong-willed, and compassionate leader who wittingly fights 
for the rights of the marginalized, knowing fully well that peace cannot be attained without serving justice. This leader is Lenny Robledo. The UBGB categorically endorses Lenny Robredo as its presidential candidate for the May, 20, May 9, 2022 presidential national, national and local election. Her track record consistently demonstrates strong support to the advocacies of the Bangsamoro. At certain points when he needed, when we needed allies in Congress and as Vice President of the Philippines, Lady Robredo was there for us. She was there for Marawi. She makes time for the Bangsamoro and in the many engagement with her on specific concerns of the Bangsamoro, we feel her compassion and support. Lenny Robredo is not just a talk, she acts. As we aspire for genuine reconciliation and national healing, having Lenny Robredo as the next president of the country brings hope to the realization of the elusive unity through inclusivity, good governance, and real democracy. Nananawagan po kami sa inyong lahat ng mga bangsamuro na suportahan natin at iboto si Lenny Robredo sa pagkapangulo ngayong ikasyam ng Mayo 2022 at iloklok siya sa panya bilang presidente ng Pilipinas. Ang kanyang pagkapanalo ay tagumpay hindi lamang siya kundi tagumpay din ng Pangsamoro people. Bilang huli, let me uh, jointly wish him, wish her a very happy, happy birthday for this May 5th, for this day. Uh, uh, so, we wish her the best of everything and we wish that he will soon be in Malacanang this after the May 22 election. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. May I request, ma'am? We would also like to uh, request to give up our uh, candidate, no, uh, specifically uh, uh, Governor Toto Mautadato, uh, Congressman by Sandra Sema, and Congressman Adato Roni Pizbat, for a peak photo opportunity with our uh, uh, chairman and also with our official candidate for presidency, uh, Ma'am Lenny Robredo.
Mga kababayan, mga kapapo natin bang Tamoro, let us on witness yung official po na pagtaas ng kamay ng ating pong uh, candidates for the United Bank Samoro Justice Party and our official candidate for presidency in this coming May 9, 2022 elections, inshallah, incoming President Lenny Robredo. Uli ating pong palakpakan ang ating pong mga official candidates from the United Bank Samoro Justice Party and our official candidate for presidency, Ma'am Lenny Robredo. Maraming maraming salamat po no? uh, sa ating po mga panahonin na ating po mga kandidato. Uh, yung ating po iba pang mga candidates, no? uh, we will be giving opportunity mamaya po para makapag-picture with our uh, President, uh, Ma'am Lady Robredo, and the rest of the uh, leaders of the United Bank Samoro Justice Party. Uh, let us all settle down po, no? at uh, meron po tayong mensahe. Napaka-importante mensahe na dapat ipapakinggan. Right after po, ito ang ating last round. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, mga kapwa po natin pag tomoro, ating po mapakitingan ang isang ng special na mensahe mula po ating po official candidate for president, ang ating incoming president, Lenny Robredo. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lang. Um, ang ating pong Chief Minister, Alhaj Murad, Ibrahim, Minister Mohadir Iqbal, Senior Minister Abdul Rauf Makakua, yung lahat pong mga ministers na kasama po natin ngayong umaga, Congressman Toto Mamundagato, ang ating pong susunod na gobernador, Congressman Dato Roni Sinsiwat Sr., ang ating pong kaibigan, former Congresswoman, at susunod na Vice Governor by Sandra Sema. Yung lahat pong mga incumbent mayors at lahat na mga um, UBJP um, candidates, hindi ko na po iisa-isahin. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Of course, nandito po si former Senator Bam Aquino, former Speaker of the House, Pantalyon Alvarez, Governor Ben Evardone ng Eastern Summer. Yung lahat pong mga delegates na nandito ngayong umaga. Yung mga IP representatives natin. Maraming salamat. Um, all the other uh, members of the Bangsamoro um, Autonomous Re Region family. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Napakalaking birthday gift po ito para sa akin. Maraming maraming salamat. Over the course of the six years that I was Vice President, pangalawang beses ko pong nagsiselebrate ng birthday dito sa barn. Uh, in 2019, 
in 2019, habang nasa gitna po kami ng um, aming trabaho for Marawi Rehabilitation, uh, I also celebrated my birthday in Marawi. So ngayon po, nandito ako sa Tarapanan, and I am so honored to be with you. Um, when I was a member of the 16th Congress of the Philippines, I was co-author of the original version of the Bangsamoro Basic Law and was actively involved during the committee hearings and congressional deliberations. Our legislative intent at that time was the passage of an enabling law that will be faithful, compliant, and consistent with a comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro. It is important to emphasize the fact that the peace agreement can only be successfully implemented and completed if there is a good partnership between the national government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front as parties to the agreement. This partnership needs to be constantly cultivated and strengthened because the peace agreement cannot be implemented unilaterally. Critical to the success of the extended transition period in the BARM is the continuity of support of who will be elected as next president. What I can assure the Bangsamoro people is that a Robredo presidency will be a friend and supporter of the Bangsamoro <laughs> and a champion of the peace process. My track record as vice president is my assurance that I will fulfill my commitments. My friendship and support to the Bangsamoro people have been consistent in the six years that I was vice president. Madalas po ako dito sa bang. In the six years that I was vice president, parang eto pong barm ang pinakamadalas ko bisitahin. <laughs> Dahil po sa napakaraming programa namin dito. Hindi ko na po iisa-isahin yung mga programa but we have a lot of programs in La del Sur. We have programs in Maguindanao. We have programs in Basilan. We have programs in Sulu. We have programs in Tawi-Tawi. Bawat sakuna na nangyayari, nandito po ang Office of the Vice President. Nung nangyari yung Marawi siege, in the middle of the siege, nandito na po kami um, sa La del Sur, tumutulong. Ang aming iba-iba. Halimbawa po, after the siege, nagkaroon po tayo ng mga pabahay para sa mga IDPs ng Marawi. Yung pabahay po nandun sa Area 7 ng Barangay sa Gongsongan na binabalik-balikan natin. Halos karamihan sa mga munisipyo ng Lanao del Sur, bumaba po tayo ng mga proyekto. Dito po sa Maguindanao, bumaba tayo ng mga proyekto. Um, nag arrange po yung mga proyekto sa mga... Um, Sustainable livelihood and training programs, uh, programs on education, health, and social development, uh, mga programa para maibsan yung kahirapan. Yung mga lugar po na wala pang kuryente ay nag-energize po tayo. Halimbawa po si Sulu, nagpalagay po tayong footbridge para i-connect yung mga isla sa mainland. Halimbawa sa Basilan, nagpagawa po tayo ng weaving center para sa mga weavers para maprotektahan ang kanilang um, hanap buhay. Um, nagpa nagpatayo po tayo ng mga eskwelahan sa Marawi right after the siege. Meron tayong feeding programs. Meron po tayong mga programa para sa out-of-school youth. Iba-iba. At yun po yung pinaka, pinaka um, pagpapakita namin ng pagmamahal namin sa Bangsa Molo people. As Vice President, and if I will be given the chance to be your future President, I commit to the Bangsamoro people the following platform of actions to complete the implementation of the peace agreement and address the remaining gaps in the Bangsamoro transition period. Number one, hasten the implementation of the comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro including the political track and the normalization track. On the aspect of normalization, 
we will formulate a mutually acceptable roadmap for normalization um, and guarantee the provision of adequate funding, particularly on the camps transformation and development and socioeconomic package for the decommissioned combatants. The rehabilitation of poverty-stricken communities and the vulnerable sectors will be promptly attended and we will sincerely support the continued operations of the peace mechanisms, including those for ceasefire and normalization. We also commit to be faithful to the implementation of the Annex on Normalization on the matters of the disbandment of private armed groups and the gradual and commensurate the redeployment of the armed forces of the Philippines. Number two, to fully implement provisions of the Bangsamoro Organic Law and continue the momentum of the intergovernmental relations body in due regard and recognition of genuine autonomy. We will sustain the gains of the smooth relations between the national government and the Bangsamoro government at the level of the intergovernmental relations body and ensure that the remaining implementable provisions of the Bangsamoro Organic Law are fulfilled. Number three, include the immediate passage of the Transitional Justice Bill. As we move towards peace, we need to deal with the past and recognize and acknowledge the injustices fought by the Bangsamoro. Without this recognition, Without this recognition and acknowledgement, we cannot move forward as a nation. Number four, activate the Amnesty Commission and fast track the appointment of its members. As we collectively work on national healing and reconciliation, I will use my powers with utmost prudence and discretion on granting amnesty following stringent procedures to all qualified MILF members and supporters and those who were involved in the armed conflict. Number five, complete the rehabilitation of Marawi and allow the safe return of the internally displaced persons. This includes the activation of the Marawi Compensation Board and immediate appointment of its members. We will ensure provision of adequate funds for the compensation of the victims in the 2023 General Appropriations Act. Without this with these commitments, I put myself before you as a candidate for the presidency of the Republic of the Philippines and hope to be your partner in working for peace in Mindanao. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Please be assured of my friendship and 100% support. Mabuhay po kayo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating pong susunod na Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Maria Leonor Lely Robredo. At para po opisyal na isara ang ating po programa, we are going to hear a uh, closing dua to be given by Ustaz Abdul Kahar Musa. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, bilang panghuli, isa po sa pinaka-affirm na turo sa atin, teach sa atin ng pananampalatayang Islam is to pray and supplicate for our leaders. So, uh, pangalingin ko sa kanulahan ng mga bangsa Murusya, i-manganin uh, tanong sa kanulahan ko sa hindi magkagabiyas ang kita ng siya sa kanulahan sa Murulabi-labi ng mga